So we finished page one. Now we're on, you turn the page, we're on to this page. Page, oops, page two. This is our blue layout going across this way. So this page is real easy. It's, I think it's a beautiful page, but it's so simple. So you're going to get your base pocket. Here is the spine side. We've already did page one, page two. You are going to cut a pocket. You are going to cut a piece nine inches tall by four inches wide. And you are going to score it on three sides, fold them in, and go ahead and miter the corners like we always do. Miter those corners so there's no bulk at these, these ends and bits here. Miter the front of the pocket here too. If I can stay in frame, miter these two. So you got your pocket made. All you're going to do is go to the spine side. Let me get this out of the way. Go to the spine side and put in your pocket. Remember, I always just fit it. This one should fit fine. Fit it, pull it, and then put um, your construction tape here. I don't fold this over until I put my insert in. So I'm going to go ahead and attach this to the, the spine edge here. So you have your pocket, um, at least the back side adhered, and you put some kind of tape down here so you don't get any hitting of anything you put in that pocket. Next thing you're going to do, you are going to get this paper from the 12 by 12, and I really hate to cut this paper. I just love this paper, but we've got to cut it. <laughs> and you are going to be starting on this side. I think. Let me make sure my... Which way are my arrows going? Doesn't really matter, but yeah. We're starting on... I'm starting... I am starting... It doesn't really matter. I'm starting on this side. I've turned it upside down because I want my stripes going in this direction, you are going to cut a one inch strip and you are going to make it, um, the, the, it's going to be one inch wide and seven and seven eighths inches tall, seven and seven eighths inches tall. So you're going to put that strip down. Make sure you ink the edges. So this is what you have. Here's your pocket. You got that one inch strip down. So once that's down, and make sure you put it in nice and straight, leave some black here so you can tell where the pocket is starting. Then you're going, after you got that strip in, that paper, you're going to go to this paper. Now this one you have to be mindful of which way you're cutting you are going to be using the back side of this paper on this side. Don't cut on this side. We want to cut on this side. So you're going to flip this over and you are going to cut this strip right here. So you're going to flip this over and I think I had it like this some way. I don't remember. Um, oop, you gotta, you got to have your notes the right side up. So check your notes. <laughs> it go, It's going to go like this. So this is going to be filling in the rest of the pocket. Mine measures about two and three eighths. So this is one inch. This is about two and three eighths. I like a little bit of black reveal um, next to my red stripe. So same height exact same height as this. So you're going to put that in. So you have the red stripe and the note paper. Make sure your notes are facing in the right direction. This little guy on top of the pocket, he is from this page from the 12 by 12. I believe this is a 12 by 12 patterns. 
and you're just going to cut him out. Basically, you're cutting this out piece, this piece out, you're keeping the height, and you're trimming this down so he's about two inches wide. And you're going to black him, back him on black cardstock with a, a little bit of black reveal. And you are going to hear him down just on three sides. So we'd hear him down on three sides. Where's my little tag? Yes. You're going to hear him on three sides because you are going to be putting, making this into a little pocket. So the tag could go in like that. So there is mine. You just want to make sure this is wide enough so you can put this ta this little tag in. This tag is from the patterns paper also. It's on the back of this paper and it's down here. It's this one. So I just cut it out. Actually, I cut it, matted it on 65 pound cardstock and then cut around the edges so I could have a little bit of reveal around my little, my little card, my little tag. Hole punched it and put an eyelet in there. So that goes in here. This piece, this side right here, this, this paper right here, this is coming from the 12 by 12, isn't, I just love this paper. What I did is I trimmed off, how much did I trim off? Oh, a, was it a quarter of an inch? I believed I trimmed off a quarter of an inch. Yeah, I trimmed off about a quarter of an inch all the way down here. Just trimmed off a quarter of an inch. And then I cut this, I left this like this, and then I cut this seven and seven eighths inches tall. Seven and seven eighths inches tall. And I cut it over to the end of this reindeer right here. We're not gonna be really using this, but I was gonna save that Santa for maybe something else, which I don't really think I ever used this Santa for some something else. So I was just gonna trim it. And you can always use this to make a, an insert, a, a, a photo mat. So I just wanted to save Santa. So I trimmed it at the end of this little reindeer right here. And then I just put it, ink the edges, make sure everything's inked, inked it, inked that paper, put it under the lip of my um, pocket and then adhered everything down. So this is a pretty easy page. Oh, I forgot the insert. <laughs> I made this insert for this page right here. This is coming from the 12 by 12 paper, this paper right here. And all I did was cut it from this corner. And the size of this is four and basically four and three eighths by six and a quarter. And I matted it on um, black cardstock. And then in the back, I just Covered, I covered this with the stripes, some more stripes. These are just, I think, where are they? They are half an inch stripes, not quite half an inch stripes on the sides and then put in that note paper in there. So you can either put it in like this or I liked it like this. So this is just this paper. So pretty easy little mat there to put in. And you can put more stuff in here. This is a, a, a good size pocket. 
So now we're going to go on to this page, which is looks beautiful next to the page we just made. 